Everybody, good early morning to you all. Professor Doom here. So I have a a relatively newer video to uh, present to you all, and what I want to do is is I want to add something to this, and I want to remind everybody about a video that I presented uh, maybe a couple of months ago about Chinese individuals migrants coming over the Canadian border. And you will recall that there were quite a few of them that did not want to be seen by the camera. Now, there's something that just came to my mind about all of this. And I'm also going to be talking about a specific uh, channel on Rumble that I came across that I didn't know about. Then I listened to him and I found very interesting. And so I want to add something to what even he was saying. All right. So this was a, a particular area in California and it's spelled with a J, but it, it sounds with an H, just like Juan Valdez. Well, this is Huacamba, California. What is interesting about this video is you'll see that it starts and you can see an individual on the very right hand side and you can't see his face. So we don't know how far up the line this video footage was taken. But we know that there must be at least one or more individuals before we start seeing these Chinese here. What I want you to take notice of is that these Chinese men, as the video goes past them, most of them have the same backpack. Very interesting note. Some of these older guys and some of them appear to be in their 30s, fighting age men, have no attachment to women or they don't have any women with them, period. Just like we witnessed in the video footage where they were coming over the border of Canada. Something, and I just want to say also that there's going to be no audio because I have my uh, Bluetooth headset in and I cannot record the audio when I do that, but there's really nothing to hear because nothing is really said, but you can hear background noise. Okay. When we get to the end of this video and you're going to see what appears to be some individuals that could be, could be, Arabic descent. Let's take a look at the video and then I will get into my commentary section. Or not. One, maybe two women in this whole line. So, so are we led to believe that these men have come over here searching for a better life in a country whose economy is collapsing? Okay, so I've already stated this before but I have something else to point out to you. Let's continue the video, but you'll see all of these Chinese men have no companionship to female at all. And I would almost venture to say that this female right here may even be military. This guy, whoop, this guy right here, right on the very edge of your screen, screen to the right, that's not Mexican. That's not even South American. That, my friends, to me, that is, that is an Arabic individual. Muslim, most likely. That's right, don't look at the camera. Whoop, let's back that up a second. Frizzy hair guy, frizzy hair guy. Does he look to you like he's, excuse me, from South America 
or anywhere of that nature? No. And neither does the guy who has the mask on his face either. Okay. So let's, let's continue on and finish, finish this. Okay. So they're keeping them separate from the individuals. And these people here look like they are Hispanic. Here, what is interests me about the Chinese coming over to the United States through our borders. One, the country of China is so uh, is so adamant about their censorship. And, and what do I mean by this is that, well, the Chinese government, um, they monitor and they prevent people from watching content that they don't want you to watch. How is it that all of these Chinese people, what were they watching all of the same post on social media? Well, I, I hate to tell you this, but the Chinese government does not permit their Chinese citizens from watching content that they don't want them to watch. And they monitor everything that you do with your money. How is it that these Chinese people heard that our borders are wide open for them to come in? It just does not make any sense. Well, unless you think about it in a completely different light, that they were informed of this intentionally to come over here. But then what would be the purpose of that? How is it that the Chinese individuals were able to use their money on a one-way ticket? Aha, uh -huh. get it? Do you think that they, oh, well, you know what? I have enough money here in China to purchase a two-way ticket here and then back so I can hide my true purpose of coming over for a better life in the United States because the Chinese government is not going to allow me to fly to the United States or even to Mexico on a one-way ticket. So what's really going on here, folks? Does everybody picking up exactly what I'm laying down? Because I'm laying it down pretty, uh, I'm laying it down um, uh, in a way that you should all be able to pick this up, that this is intentionally being done. And not only is it being done intentionally, as you witnessed for yourself right there in the line of individuals, Chinese fighting age men without any kind of attachment to any females whatsoever. What do you see? What is coming? When is it going to come? And the individual that I listened to on Rumble, Underground Patriot, well, he is, he, I just listened to him for the first time this morning, and it is very interesting that he is saying exactly what I have been saying, that the military of the United States is being slowly sent out to different theaters all around to these military bases all around the world. And we're going to find more military being shipped out over to the Middle East and other areas. It's going to leave the citizens of the United States to fight against these fighting age men, Chinese, Venezuelan, Nicaraguan, Colombian. And guess what, folks? The Venezuelan government has opened up their prison gates and have been allowing their prisoners to come straight over to the United States. And these are the type of people that we will be fighting. And these Chinese were here. How much do you want to bet that these individuals have been trained in military tactics? And, well, a lot of citizens with guns, 
the only thing we have is the will and desperation to save the land that we are on, that we are part of the United States. They're sent here to take it, and we're here to defend it. Thanks, everybody.